in Photoshop in Affinity Photo. Go to the circle and right click convert to curves. Go to the tools and select the node tool. Go to the top node and select. Go to the action and break curve. Go to the bottom, select that node and again to action and break curve. Go to the tools panel, select the move tool. Go over to the layers panel and select one of the curves. Select one of the semicircles and drag. Go to the node tool, go to action and close curve. Select the other curve and again go up to the action and click close curve. Now you can change the color. You've got two closed curve semicircles. In Photoshop there's no break curve or close curve so you need a workaround. If you've got a better solution for those please put it in the comments. Go to the tools panel, select the rectangle tool, make certain it's a shape, draw a quick rectangle. You'll need the view menu and show smart guides to be on. Drag the rectangle on top of the circle and you'll notice smart guides appear. So you've got smart guide right dead center. Select both of the shapes. Go to layer menu and combine shapes and subtract front shape. Select the direct selection tool. Select all of the points. Go up here to the set operations and go to merge shape components. Now you've got just a basic single semicircle. Go to the move tool, hold down the alter option key and drag. Rotate the design, press return and now change the color. Do I prefer Photoshop or Affinity's approach? Well, I must admit photo probably wins out this time because the close and break really super useful. So what do you think? Is one better than the other? Have you got any workarounds, any ways of doing this and approaching it that are even quicker? Please let me know in the comments. Hope you found this tutorial of interest. Thank you much.